Hey, what's up guys? This is Astronex and I'm back for another Epic 7 video. So in this one I want to do Guild Wars. This is the second one. The first one was quite easy. Now this one is a different story though. Alright. We are losing. And uh, I'm not sure if we can come back. I don't think... Uh, I think we have a few inactives and uh, might have to change Guild. We'll see. Anyways, let's head into uh, Dahlberg Fortress. So if, when you're attacking in Guild War, if you lose, they get Havoc. And if you win, you, you get Havoc. But if there's a draw, both sides get Havoc. And I think it could be an even split. So if, if you think you're not going to win, might as well just not attack. Or you're just going to give them uh, Havoc. I was looking real quick, kind of running out of time, but I could attack this. That's one flag. So I'll just go in there. k is only five star. It's quite a stall team at the bottom. Now, thing is the damage from the first round is gonna hurt real bad I don't have a uh, combat readiness booster because I had to move the gear on to uh, DN and uh, yeah I could go with an offensive team at the bottom and the top one I could counter it with a uh, defensive team now for their uh, their elements, if I go with ice, I'm gonna bait Isaria and uh, God Axe is just gonna target whoever is the lowest probably. So Isaria is gonna open, so bait bait her with uh, could just bait her with uh, her, and it's best to not bring the same element. So thing is there is k -Ron to deal with but I mean he's five star if I have a, a form of sustain I should be fine I could go with double supports and Sid could be my damage dealer and at the bottom at the bottom I could just go Actually, I move my gear from Clurry onto uh, Tywin to test him in uh, Wyvern 11. So that is quite un unfortunate. I'm just gonna bring. And I'm just gonna go full offense. <laughs> just bring Tarnar Guard, my Wyvern uh, hero, which is using Daydream Joker, but whatever. Whatever. And. Uh, yeah, let's just go with this. Sid. That's the thing though. Kise can stealth. She'll be fine on the top team, but she's ice. I want I don't want to have her get destroyed by Isaria because that's what's gonna happen. Let's just go with this. Alright, baiting this. It's hitting the end. Okay, so for speed, I'm going first. I'm not, I don't even think I can kill uh, Chaos like Axe, to be honest. But Angelica is gonna go. The end's definitely gonna die. I'm gonna try. Let's go. Okay, that's good. Okay. Oh, that's close. Come on. Oh, I cannot be buffed, so it's not. It, it, it did dispel, that's fine. And, uh, yep, just gonna go with this. A 
finish this area, she's still gonna go. But I got immunity. It's all good. Keep Kieran for last. He's doing all his magic here. You know, he's dealing quite a bit of damage. Sid is definitely not super tanky. I might as well just go for it. Only speed buff, no attack buff. But at least he has advantage. Advantageous attack because he's got the speed buff. Jesus, come on. Alright, battle number one. Now this one, hopefully they're slow. Alright, let's hope for a defense break on uh, low... Uh, yep, yep, that's good. And she's out. I just have to deal with supports. Full offense setup though. Two of my damage dealers are running... You know what? Uh, it doesn't work. Let's go. Let's just go on the, the in. One just potion vial, just to make things more annoying. If you see a team that has too many, like, uh, like it seems to be like a really stall group composition, you can just go ahead and bring. Uh, you could bring three damage dealers, but you could you could lose you could lose uh, one of your damage dealer in the process. If you're bringing uh, damage dealers with uh, life steal, you should be fine in most cases. I mean, Clurry is a different story. Because she can be quite annoying with uh, like her her dispel and then defense down and having defense down on one of your hero and then having their team focus that hero is definitely gonna hurt. So you have to be careful against that. But if there are just too many supports and you feel comfortable, you could go with one hero that can sustain, that can sort of heal or barrier. And two damage dealers. Uh, if one can stealth, you don't need life steal on it, unless they have some area damage. But the one that uh, might be uh, targeted, uh, you kind of want life steal if the fight drags on for too long. I'm not quite sure how many points that was. I don't think I'm gonna make a big difference in the points, but we never know. All right, so. Like, look at these teams, though. They're gonna initialize with Shuri, Domino, then Vildred's gonna clean up. It, it, it's, it's too dangerous. I don't have, I cannot beat them on speed because I don't have uh, my Rosie geared out. But it's really about, about picking your fights. So you can't just go in there and like attack anyone. Like you're like okay, I open on this guy and just go. I mean, you could if you you have multiple heroes geared, and uh, I mean if you have a solid uh, roster, you can do it. But like in my in my uh, situation, I don't have. I have a limited amount of heroes that I've built and that are geared. Not all of them that are six star are geared. But I should probably do that because I mean I will need them to be geared. It's gonna hurt so bad. You can't just go in there and like stall for forever. If they have too many damage dealers. Bellona says gonna hurt so much. 
and here just ML cans and they could counter for like 10,000 plus and this one initiates first all right let's just go here gonna have to stall this says not gonna attack Sid the prime is uh, Shadow Rose on turn two. She might drop defense down on my Sid. Then I could be in trouble. For the bottom battle. Hmm. I should put some HP gear on Zeno. He could bait. Definitely need some gear on, on my Clurry. This is definitely not going to be optimal here. Alright, so let me go with... Uh, I mean, the supports up here. Sid's going to go on them. Says we'll target them. I could go with... That works. Triple ice at the bottom though. But there's Shuri and uh, K-Ron, which are fire. That's good. Bellona is gonna really hurt though and take Kise out of stealth, which is gonna be terrible. Sid will just take my Kise on the top team. That, that's not gonna work. Whatever, that's what I got. I'm just gonna sort them, do it like that. Bellona, I could clear the defense down with uh, the end. Yeah, I guess. Uh, Let's go like this. Oh! Yeah, if I had an initiator like Rosid, would make things so much easier. Okay, okay, that's good. I mean, even my Sid is not uh, using speed boots. That's the thing, he's not even using speed boots because uh, I had to lower his speed so he uh, wouldn't go before Rosid. But yeah, I don't have gear on Rosid anymore. Now, turn order, doesn't matter, as, long, uh, as soon as their Shadow Rose goes, they're going. The most dangerous here is, to be honest, it's Sid. Because Sid could attack and Earth damage dealer says I mean he might just die from this oh wow the dual attack beautiful you know I I was extra cautious but these are all situations that like it could have been if they went first because their guild seems to be uh, quite geared All right, round two. Oh, here we go. The end's going next. Before Shuri. This is terrible. Triple ice, I'm not baiting anyone. I have to. gonna push them above <laughs> I feel like I have to go for the barrier I definitely don't want to lose anyone definitely don't want to lose anyone man DN is gonna not gonna sustain this team turn our guard I mean they're both on life still I don't usually uh, go with the uh, s3 and 2s2 I mean s2 and 2s3 almost feel like I have to do it this time I've got to survive that uh, that damage. Oh, he just <laughs> triple ice. He just didn't land any crit. All right. Prime is that Bellona. 
I can't just kill Kron take out Shuri first and then Belona go oh, Shuri first oh he's he's fire but I mean I one shot at him so that's good I can just work on Belona. Missed. Alright, that's good. He has to die. I'm not even gonna use skill 2 to AoE, it's only one uh, one hero, multiplier is better on that skill daydream joker, oh my god I might lose starter guard here Heal up. Miss. Yes. He just doesn't do any damage. Is he using Kiron as a bait? Imagine if you kept the heal the the, the health. On your heroes. Could you imagine how bad that would be? Okay, it's plus 120 havoc when you win. So I mean it's it's going up. Now, what is the number below the havoc? Could it be the amount of swords that are left for the battle? No. Oh, that could be the amount of the bases that are left. On our side, I'm seeing 6111, which equal to 9, which is that number to yeah 28 uh different buildings you got 27 in the front nine in each fortresses and then you got the got the stronghold so they yeah they have uh 13 buildings which is bad on this side it's definitely uh not looking that easy to be honest this looks very dangerous this looks very dangerous as well. And the, the ML cans here. Let's just quickly check on this side. What's up? Building's being protected by another building. So who? Wait, who is left? All those buildings are down on this side. Hmm. I, I believe you have to take out I'm not even sure you probably have to take out all these smaller uh, ones and then you can start attacking those uh... hmm all right let's go back into here so which one is the like the battle is gonna end soon, so I mean, and it's not like it doesn't look like we're gonna win. Shuri, this is gonna get destroyed. Go tanky on this one, and then go damage dealers on this the second one. Okay, okay, okay. Go tanky on the first one. You know, like I have to deal with this with this roster. It's definitely not optimal. I need some sustain on the bottom team. I can't just go full uh, full offense. Just Cecilia alone with uh, DN are such a pain in the rear. 
Kise, she's she's going down for sure. Definitely want to get my gear back on Clurry for the next war. Oh my god. It's gonna make, make it a huge difference. Okay. Sid. Sid's gonna stay up. Kise stays down. Tarnar Guard could go up, but that Bellona. The end with. You know what? Just gonna bring Bellona up. Have Angelica. I, I need to take out this defense down from Bellona. But what if. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is much better. This can definitely do it. It seems to be uh, pretty much like it was before on the first battle. Alright, let's just go with this. Okay, I go first. Attack buff. Shadow rolls going afterward. They're just gonna combo uh, Bellona with Sez. Says might just end up attacking uh, DN, which is fine with me. All right. No, ah, oh, she got hit. Ah, oh, I'm losing DN, but that's the last battle. Oh my god. Okay. I need to guarantee kill. You know what? I, I don't even think I, I'm winning this. To be honest, I, I have to risk it and use Sid to one-shot Bellona with uh, skill 3 and then get the extra attack on Sid uh, on Sez and hopefully one-shot him with defense down. And then I'll have both of my damage dealers against Shadow Rolls. Because if I go on Sid, uh, on the Sez, I'm not gonna kill Bellona, and uh, I'm not gonna kill Bellona. I have to. If I don't crit, okay. Come on, kill him. Yes. Okay, I can do this now. Uh oh. Woo! He survived. All right, but doesn't matter. That's the final battle, anyways. Okay, on to on to the second round. Okay, Cartuja, he he ends you ends the miss against him. Definitely want to put uh, DN skills on cooldown, even though Cecilia is super annoying, but. I got triple ice and Angelica is going before Cecilia. That is so close though. She she could overtake her, I'm not quite sure, but it, it, my mine shows up before, so I, I'm assuming that Angelica is gonna go first. I just hope I'm getting that uh, that plus two turn cooldown to happen here. Oh my god, resistance. Now I have to deal with the anti-crit. Just great. Just great. Push back Cecilia. Push. Push her back. Okay, just to make sure. I mean, it's it's a stall comp. It's an annoying composition with uh, Assassin Cartuja. It's gonna be a slow battle. Now my Tarnar Guard is uh, slower than Kisei, so that's unfortunate. To be honest, I should uh, take advantage of 
the barrier damage with Kisei and like if she attacks Cecilia both Cecilia and Cartuja are super annoying but I can deal with Cartuja the in Doesn't quite matter if I draw up defense down. Stun could be nice. Could have healed here too. But let's wait. The healing is really big on Angelica. I don't need to actually use it yet. I can wait. It's gonna be much better to use it in a little bit. Okay, so there's got that miss on Cartuja. So, I'm just gonna burn. Burn and go the in. Just gonna go on that barrier damage. No crit. Well, I'll rip my souls. Now, uh, that dual attack was dangerous. Okay, no, no defense down, no defense down. <laughs> Angelica is slow though. She's not gonna be able to take uh, too much damage here. She's got her ultimate though. But that DN with the uh, rod is definitely annoying. I, uh. Triple Ice Heroes, uh, I've gotta go back on DN and just take her down. Especially since she's got rod. Oh! Oh, didn't land the fans down. He's got attack buff though, because when you proc a dual attack with him, that's what happens. Ah. Alright, heal back up, baby. Get healthy. That stupid rod. Jesus. Alright. Who's gonna be annoying here? Cecilia is not quite there yet. Cartuja, not quite. It's almost like I should just wait. I should just wait for skill 3, to be honest. Just keep on working on DN. My god, the damage is poor. Yeah. Profit of candlestick, that's good. I think her skill 2 was ready, anyways. Look at that. Look at that. Here it is. I'm gonna save my burn. I, I just need to land a killing blow on this on that DM. It's just ridiculous. It's too annoying. That rod. Yeah. It's good. Broke my stealth, but I've got immunity. Keep Cartuja last, super annoying. With that uh, that evasion. He's not land a stun. No, land a dual attack. Even better. And uh, just guarantee kill with that burn. Might as well, because I'm never critting because that because of that uh, anti crit buff minus 50% crit chance. Super super annoying, and it's all over the meta. I know I'm using the in it myself. The last battle, but definitely don't want Angelica to die. It's fine, he's just gonna eventually perish. There we go. Tarnor Guard doing his magic. It was slow. That was definitely a slow, <laughs> slow video. <laughs> Three battles, I mean it was two rounds each, that's six battles, but I took my time because I wanted to win them and not just jump in anything, any fight, I had to uh, plan this. 39 minutes left for this war, I need to go and do my battles on my alt, to be honest, my alt is uh, ranked, what, 52? 
And I don't feel like I can take out any of these uh, teams, unfortunately. Yeah, from what I'm seeing, it, it's not gonna happen. So if I just attack, I'm gonna give them some havoc. But, you know, it's getting close. Maybe if the other members, they decide to attack. Uh, how do we do deal with this? War ranking. The ranks have been, uh, yeah, rank 91, that is, uh, that's a bit too low. There's too many players that are not active, I believe. War status, I'm the last one to have attacked. How do we check the swords that are left, the attacks, here? I mean, top four were all like hardcore players. Not quite sure about the other members though. But got a few uh, conqueror. Zero, two, two left, three left, two left, two left. Yeah, but some members are not attacking because they're not confident that they can take down the opponent. If they just lose, they'll give them havoc. So it's better to not attack from what I'm, from what I heard. But yeah, let me know, guys. Uh, how's the guild wars been to you? If you've been winning, losing, and uh, what about your guild? Uh, are they active? Are they inactive? Yeah, I uh, might have to change guild and I'm gonna have to gear up, uh, out my other 6-star heroes so I can actually have more options in case I lose some of my core heroes that I'm heavily invested in. But yeah, that's it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm Astronox. Let me show you my gear. Like, comment, and subscribe for more. Press the bell icon if you'd like to be notified whenever I release a new video. These are my skill-ups. <laughs> my core heroes. But yeah, Clurry, she's coming back for sure. Rosied, uh, I should just put speed gear onto Rosied. Not my best speed gear, but it's still gonna be quite useful. Like even Silk, I had to remove some gear. Definitely need to gear out some of these uh, six stars. But there's some really good uh, Guild War heroes that uh, I could build, it's just that there's a priority and like if if the hero is going to be uh very niche you know you can't use that hero in too many places if that hero is going to really shine only in guild wars you know uh, as a free-to-play player i can't just like dedicate uh, a ton of resources and gear like you, you've got to be smart about it you could swap gear but yeah you need to at least make the hero six star but if the hero is only going to be really used in Guild Wars, is he even worth 6-starring? That's the thing. I feel like you need to at least like be able to use that hero to, to use that hero somewhere. Be it uh, Wyvern, Golem, Banshee. It needs to be part of these core groups. Or your raid group. And after that... If you can, if you feel like that uh, hero is going to be strong in Guild Wars, you definitely uh, can invest resources and gear that uh, character out. So yeah, that's it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll for now. Peace.